Alrighty, it's the it's the finale. I'm like, I'm gonna get first place. And what's funny about these beginners tournaments, it's kind of a win-win when you reach the final two. It's either you win the tournament and you get the satisfaction of winning, or you get second place and get the next best thing and are able to keep participating in it. Uh, there's some debate with um, LFCR, um, sorry, LCFR, <laughs> dyslexic here, uh, if whether or not we should uh, let the winners back in, but I think it's a good way to kind of retire them from the beginner's bracket. If you're the best of all the uh, participants, you it's time to move out of that nest. Well, let's give it to Mr. Rainbag. Show him his final win. What do I do here? I'm just like, keep it. I see this fellow in the background. I see a couple of uh, bonus damage in the immediate sources. So I'm like, he's probably going to have that 2 1 that duplicates himself. And you know what? This entire game is won by that because I make terrible decisions. I make terrible decisions because I don't remember stun as a thing. Now watch get my charity poke not worth doing anything move on to the next turn he drew him he didn't have him last turn or maybe he did he'll have to tell me and there's the standard okay I think I could kill it right now by attacking and using storm eagle do I do it no I do the one damage board wipe so that way next turn when I have Four mana, I can do the same thing and that, and not have to take the self suicidal two, and also guarantee that he has to push with that ASAP instead of reserving it for a kill. I don't realize at this point that this man is just out to get me. This is a low curve, high aggro deck, and that stun just stopped me from doing my thing. So I'm like, well, shit. Let's just use the four damage utility. What I really should have done, should have dropped that guy. I should have had him suicide a little, maybe between these two, and then he would have, I don't know. I really, really should have done on turn frickin' two was Storm Eagle <laughs> auto attack. So I'm like, okay, the stun is over. I can poke it for that, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna stun him so we can't give him that. It'll duplicate, he'll attack with them on the next turn, I'll deal one damage to all after that this man has suicided and gotten himself back up to three and I'll get him to two. And you know what happens? You know what happens? The perfect one, that's just beautiful. He denies the stun, so I can't even get the guaranteed board wipe off. And you know what part two is? Got that too, can you guess it? Yeah, it's Storm Eagle. This is what I'm like, I've lost this game. I'm at half the HP pre survival five, and he's literally just denied my ability twice. Although I wouldn't have had any good cause to kill it anyway. Oh no, I would have uh No, no, I would have won run damage to all and still would have sucked. So the moral of the story is kill Ferone's militia ASAP. Don't let that don't don't take any chances. Screw your mana curve. Kill this bastard. Because otherwise this is gonna get out of hand. Oh yeah, and that was that was the icing on the cake. That that's when I really beat myself up. It's when he had all that. Is it time? Yes, it is. I finally get rid of the frickin' board state for a deck that is literally littered with flanks and omni damage and an omni damage commander. Alright, I'm not proud of this next moment. I forgot that he had Survivor 3. You know what I should have done? Anything but this. To be fair, he didn't have a guaranteed win without being able to do some kind of direct damage like exactly the one he needed so it was a long-term benefit for me to do this even with or without remembering that and he gets me 
Had I survived one more turn, it would have turned around. But that one damage to all, but neutral card, that did me in. Because he had already used his two direct damage cards. He could have had an artillery, he could have had something else, but hey, all the props. All the props. You know. Mr. Uh, Rainbag there, he definitely earned that. That was uh, no joke. So anyway, that's uh, that's how a second Founders Tournament looks like for the Finale 2 from the second place's perspective. Uh, I hope I recorded these well, and uh, thank you to Mr. LCFR for hosting these tournaments, as well as uh, Mr. Gorstampa de Wagbringer. Uh, they've both been the hosts for these tournaments, uh, and it's it's a good fun. The more you do them, the more you start to meet people, and eventually when I get first, or I hit that thousand legendary score, I'm gonna push my way up to the regular tournaments and start to meet a whole bigger group of fish. Um, yeah. Thank you, and uh, this was Karmatos, I guess.